Okay, what we're going to imitate here is a vent blocking. Now normally, you can, you can see the fire is burning in there, but our vent is blocked, and I've also bypassed the pressure switch, which should protect from this. However, if the pressure switch fails, and then you get a block vent, you're going to have this. Now you can see that flame is not even. And it finally shut itself off. But it's going to continue doing that. And the flame is going to start rolling out the front. So this is a potentially dangerous situation. I'm going to let that thing go through it one more time so you can see it again and you can hear all the clicks. The hot surface igniter is now on. Okay, it's shut down. Now let me go over again what happened here. Aldehydes everywhere around this thing. Okay, uh, if the pressure switch were to fail, there is nothing in this furnace that will protect, shut the furnace down, so and tell you that the pressure switch has failed. There's nothing here that'll do that. So if the pressure switch fails, then later on either the inducer fails or the vent gets plugged, this is what's going to happen. Now, it's, it's started again now, I think. Let's see if we can watch this thing again. Looks like it's shut down. Uh, there is, and let me see if I can get close here and get some light on. Okay, there is a rollout switch on this thing, and I'm going to get close to it, and you can see it right there. I've got a red button on it because it is a manual reset. If it kicks off, that shuts the furnace off. The inducer will stay on, but the furnace won't heat. So that's the kind of last line of defense. Now let me go over this again. If the pressure switch should fail, and it sticks closed. Sometimes they stick open, but if it's stuck closed, there's nothing on this furnace that automatically shuts it down. The newer furnaces did have. What will happen is the burner will light, and it'll actually run normally until you have a problem up here with the inducer. Now, or the venting. If for any reason the inducer fails to start and the pressure switch is closed or the vent is blocked, then you'll get this rollout that you saw and it's kind of flump, flump, flump. It, the safety of the, uh, the flame safety control, because the flame is not doing what it should do, it's, uh, it's coming on, it's... Uh, rolling out the front and it's not sensing flame properly, usually it'll shut it down, but I would not want to guarantee it. So, uh, that's one of the things to be done in the service is you should make sure the pressure switch does actually work. Because unlike some of the newer units, uh, this one does not test the pressure switch each time the unit starts. And that's a CGU on a flame rollout 